everyone and today's review is a new product. Basically I went into the drugstore today and as we all know I'm the kind of person that buys every single product that I want. Not all of them, I, I do squirm quite a bit but I most of the time whenever I see a new product let's just say I buy it. And basically this is a new video and basically I'm the kind of person that buys every single fucking product of the week when I want it, when I want it. I get what I want, when I want, when I want. Yeah, that kind of works but it doesn't work but let me just get basically into the bloody video before I go fucking delusional. Basically, this is a new powder by Maybelline New York. Yeah, 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 we know. And, well, you don't even fucking ask for your hair. And basically, I buy every single product whenever I get paid or whenever I've got the money or whenever I see a new product. So this is brand new and I'm already making the video and review. This costs only $3.99. I think there's only four shades of the range of this new matte a fire matte maker. Um, this shade is... This is in shade 10 Classic Ivory. I don't think there was any lighter than that. All the other shades were like nude, 20. Okay, so we're basically in this review. Uh, basically, I've been ill at the moment. Uh, I don't think you know who me or whatever, but basically I've been ill as fucking shit on the floor. And I didn't want to do the last video. I let my sister do it. It was about oil, skin and shit. So it got me in the mood to help people that have oily skin. And this new mattifier is great for oily skin. Well, I believe so, I haven't fucking tried it yet, but let's get fucking onto the review and let's see how it goes on the skin. Um, yeah, so 3 you know what I mean? It reminds me of the Rimmer one. The Rimmer one is Stay Matte. This is Matte Maker. Uh, you know, Maybelline thought, fuck, let's copy, why not? You gotta fucking copy in this world and you gotta get a bit of money! You know what I mean? We all want a little bit more money. And <laughs> I want a little bit more and I want to buy a little bit more products. So that's what I'm going to fucking do. So it's just, it's a twirling, shitty, cheap little twirl thing. Not like Rimmel's just sort of pop and you're fucking out. This one you got to twirl it in. Uh, this is the powder. And I did realise something when I got this after this. Yeah. Yeah, that fucking just happened. It fell out. That kind of makes it look really, really cheap. Now look, it's like some sort of mechanical fake glue devising it together and... Yeah, let's just pop it back in. Uh, that does, you know what I mean? Pisses me off, 3 dollars fucking 9 and it fucking already fallen out. That could crack and shatter and then I could just smash it into the bin and I'll just be like, great. But come on guys, 3 99 you can't get it wrong. Shut up, I'm trying to... I want water! Uh, shut up, bitch. <laughs> so... This is actually a very good, cheap value range product, and I'm getting onto the testing. <laughs> that meant nothing. That just meant nothing in your ears. You don't give two fucking shits. Okay, this is... Shut up, bitch. Okay. Alright, so basically, yes, as I said, uh, my last video I didn't do because I was ill as shit, and yeah. I'm now getting onto oily sort of combination skins because I'm becoming more oily now this summer and I felt that I don't want to use Rimmel anymore because it really is crisp on my face like as fuck like you know what I mean like imagine like you just put it on your nose and it comes off like basically that's what happens to me so I'm just going to use this big big fucking brush here by Real Techniques and I'm just going to swirl a little bit in swirling it guys oh fucking hell it's coming out everywhere most powders don't even come off. Okay, I'm just gonna... Just a little bit more, Maybelline. I don't use much powder, no offence everyone out there. You bitches might fucking powder up so much. I'm just trying to stop oil from happening. God, I use enough foundation anyway. Basically, for me, uh, I can't use powder on my nose area, on my like eyelids really. I can use concealers and stuff. But... But it does kind of curdle normally for me. Now, I'm not seeing any curdle, but I'm going to go into the mirror. And when I mean curdle, I mean just like dry patches, flaky stuff. You know what I mean? Like this hair's dead as fuck. Basically like that. Currently, there's a tramp flying bins around outside. It's really, really weird. You know what I mean? Like stuff, fucking weird shit always keeps happening to me. You know what I mean? Like when I was in shops, let's just say it's not exactly not awkward. It's fucking so fucking awkward. Everyone's... B.O. corridors all around. I've probably said this about a thousand times now, but I'm just sick to death of awkward and cheap. Everything's cheap. I walk around saying, cheap, this hair's cheap, I feel cheap. Like, you, But this powder, let's, oh, I don't know what I'm going on about. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to fucking get you into this shit. Bins are flying around, I feel cheap. Basically, I've just looked in the mirror and I can review this and tell you that 
for me, this keeps me not oily, it keeps my skin matte basically, uh, but it doesn't dry it out so that it looks like, like dead, you know what I mean, like shit. And basically, for $3.99, you can't go fucking wrong, buy it you fucking tramps, let's see you go into shops and not squirm and squizzle and give for dog muck anymore. Now, bitch to a bitch, let's give some secrets. You do not want to look like curdling crisp piece of shit, and with this, I think, yeah, you're doing a pretty good job, and you know what I mean, it's very, very fucking cheap. Okay, so, as it doesn't make the face curdle, and I probably took, for fuck's sake, curdle means not dry patch, and oily, and bubbling, and s fuck, your skin looks shit, that's basically what I mean. Basically, this sorts out your skin, and I did not need much, do not use too much girls out there, I do not want to see powder all down your tops and stuff, so, make me feel sick with the bins flowing about outside. <laughs> Fuck! I keep thinking of the bin and the oil and this going in it, and just, uh, just this part's annoying. So watch out. Be careful. Be careful with it. Don't shatter it. But screw that lid on tight, bitch. Fucking tramp. I don't mean to be mean, but it's my nature. I'm cursed nature, bitch. You know what I mean? Bitch, it just runs in the bitch blood. And you know what I mean? I'm not lying to you. Do you know what I mean? Like you want someone that tells you the fucking truth. You don't want someone that goes. Buy this, buy that, and then tells you it's shit. I'm telling you, watch out. At least I'm giving you some advice, and I'm saying, for a free fucking 99, what the fuck? You can't go wrong. And I'm so, so dog shit. This pisses me off, everybody. Fuck! And it's getting dark already. Oh my god. Sorry about the last video. Fuck. Okay, guys. Um... Serious question, did you like this fucking video or what? Uh, I don't give a shit if you think I'm swearing, you ones can stop fucking watching, piss off. <coughs> you don't get it, I've got a cough and it's horrible. But you want someone truthful and honest and someone that reviews the new products and tells you before you go out and buy them and you waste all your money, because remember, you don't have enough money to, to spare the fuck around. Anyway, st enough of that shit. Basic, can you tell me, do I need a haircut? <coughs> <coughs> this bitch buys it! <laughs> this bitch buys the fucking products. Go fucking get them, bitch. Free 99. See ya. Maybe it's Maybelline. She's made to be a whore. And put the powder on your fucking face. Oh.